Yes, I, I clearly have a light right here. I, I'm going to flip this around. Indra Neil, I have something you're going to be interested in uh, in this show. So stick with me and let me tell you about it. Let me let me flip this around. Hey, 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 hey. What's this light doing? Is this light lighting enough? Kind of. Yes. So, yes. There we go. That's a lot of light. Okay, cool. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God, Mark, stop. I can't. I can't with you. Um, I have a rad show for you guys, um, and uh, I'm going to keep it to an hour. So, um, you know, uh, here, let's just, don't, first of all, don't buy anything yet. So, because let me, let me add a, um, let me add a little, uh, little give you. This is, don't buy anything yet. This is going to be a buyer appreciation give you. Um, yes, it's a dog head, but it's important. Give me a second. Let me get it all set up. Um, end of show. Test shot. Okay. So next, right? Giveaway. Got it. Cool. This is very small. Yay. International quantity one. No. International by appreciation. Awesome. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I've done. Okay, great. So, um, what that is, this is really important. So I guess I guess every show that I do a buyer appreciation givey, um, I need to I need to tell you what this is. So this looks kind of janky, right? Uh, well, it's a little weird. It's a little bashed up. What is this thing up here? I don't know. Well, you know what this is, and you know why it's so bashed up. This is my test shot of the Danger Dog head. Um, so uh, the story of Danger Dog, our shop mascot, was that. Um, initially it was sculpted by, um, by Nemo and then cast in resin. We sold it as resin, like, uh, minifigures, uh, for a long time. And, uh, then, um, actually I, um, uh, I sent a resin cast to, uh, Michigan. <laughs> oh my God, Michigan. What is wrong with me? To Mexico. And we made them in vinyl in Mexico for a while. Um, and that was super cool. Um, and that's not this one. Um, and then the guy in Mexico, um, pieced out, um, not only with uh, my molds for Danger Dog, but with a whole bunch of projects and a whole bunch of money from a whole bunch of other artists from the US and UK. And uh, and there he goes. His name is Omar. Um, and he his company was called Veneno Toys. So, you know, don't manufacture stuff in Mexico unless you really uh, unless you really figure that stuff out and, and maybe run it by me first to see if uh, I can do some recon on whoever you're dealing with there. But, you know, there's no recourse for that. So anyway, then Mile High came up um, after that. And I was like, cool, maybe this is a chance for me to make Danger Dog in vinyl again. So we made another resin cast of Danger Dog, sent it to Mile High. And this is my Mile High test shot of the head. Um, this is this is how um, the Safubi toy is joined at the neck. Um, it's like that. Um, I have a full one of these and then I have a head and I, I don't I don't know why that is. But this is this would have been the very first thing I would have received from Mile High to get my approval to move ahead. So this has been in my possession for forever. And it's gonna go to one of you here at the end of the show. This is a buyer appreciation Gibby. Um, if you want, I can sign it. Um, I can write on it. I, I, would, I would say maybe right around here, like what it is. Um, I have noticed that, you know, over a period of many years, like Sharpie um, tends to um, sort of spread out. So, um, I don't know. I can I can actually write on it in a paint pen if you guys want me to write on it in a paint pen. I I think Sharpie kind of like mushes into the vinyl um, after like five years or so. So um, you know, uh, I could always go find my little mini paint pen that I was signing my Danger Dogs with and, and do it. What's up, Fulci? What's up, yo? Everyone's here, yo. Doombot, hi, Kalana, Mike. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate you. Yeah, Wu says, looks like the Mack truck mascot. Well, there's one big difference, which is my mascot is an American pit bull terrier. And even though it's a little cartoonified, that is specifically what breed it is. The Mack truck mascot is um, an English bulldog. Um, but I do love those mascots. Those are, those are, I mean, I love those big chrome things on the front of the trucks. They're, they're super cool, the, the, um, the hood ornaments, really cool. 
Um, so yeah, yeah, bullies, bullies of all kinds uh, have, are sort of you know chunky in the same way. Alex K, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, cool. I've got I've got 29 of you here. So cool. So this is my buyer appreciation Gibby. So I'm gonna tell you some other things about the show um, before I get rolling here. Um, other thing about the show. Um, I got a little clock down here. I'm going to keep it to an hour. I just don't have time to go longer than an hour. So I'm going to do what I can do in an hour. So I'm going to move really, really fast. Um, that being said, I do like to run this like an ask me anything um, because um, I, I've been selling designer toys for 19 years now, coming up on our, our, our two decades. And I know a lot of things and a lot of people and I've done a lot of things and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, no matter what they are, there is no stupid question. Um, there are questions that I can't answer because I don't have any idea what I'm doing. And uh, so <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, I want to say something else about the um, our Buy It Now um, and um, of the auctions in this show. And uh, uh, did I start the show? Let me start this thing on my, on my iPad so I don't lose you guys, which has happened before, embarrassingly. Okay, there it is. Um, so, uh, any of you that spend a hundred dollars during the course of this show, which would actually be really, really easy just by buying one thing from our buy it now, I am going to, I will ship the thing you, the thing or the package you buy. And then I also work with you in messages to figure out what your favorite Tenacious Toys t-shirt design is and your size. And potentially if there's a, a color choice, which sometimes there isn't, and I will have a t-shirt printed in your size and in your style, and I'll have it sent to you. That is good for USA buyers only, because um, I can't really um, cheaply ship to other countries, but um, that's my offer for this show. Um, spend a hundred bucks, and then after the show ends, um, I will uh, be messaging you, and I will find out what t-shirt you want as a reward. So, um, so let's get right into it now. Um, and uh, I'm going to start uh, throwing things up on this little block, my little block, <laughs> block, my auction block. Uh, here, we can put this up here. Um, so the, I, I pulled out a bunch of stuff from my belt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me talk about my buy it nows first. Um, so in the buy it now are, what's up, guys? Um, I added a ton of stuff to my buy it nows. Um, and, and I think, um, I think if you click on some of these things, yeah, that's right. So anytime I pop these up, you can just click on them and you can see a picture of all these things. Um, I have been, um, neglecting you guys. Um, and I'm really, really sorry. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, I have been putting things up, uh, as they've been coming in, obviously, um, uh, uh, elsewhere. And then it's just like a double extra um, bit of work to get it up on whatnot. So in some cases, I've been really focused on, um, you know, putting on these shows and doing the auctions and pulling stuff out of my own inventory. And I have failed to make available to you guys, all of the new things, all of the new designer toys that I have um, uh, available. Um, so I spent extra time this morning I popped a bunch of stuff into our um, buy it now um, into the bin. And I'm going to tell you about that uh, right now so that I'm just going to run through it pretty, pretty quick. Um, firstly, um, we are in whatnot and um, you know, uh, whatnot people seem to be into bare bricks a lot. Um, so, um, you know, obviously I've got uh, the series 46 blind boxes, a few of those. Um, so that's, that should be down at the bottom. Um, it, and, and as I go through these guys, if something interests you, just you just click on the name of the item in the bottom, it'll pop open the, um, the image of the item. So, I mean, you guys know how to, how to do this, but um, so I have the 100% Series 46. I do have Series 47 on the way, so you guys just got to hang tight. And once I get them, I'll, I'll start selling them. Um, I have uh, Andy Warhol, Rolling Stones, uh, 400 and 100% set right there. Um, and then I have a ton of thousand percent bear bricks. Um, I've got Bucktick, I've got Gromit from Wallace and Gromit. I have Yami Osamatsu, which is right there. 
I have um, Kazuo um Umezu, great art exhibition. I, have, I got Lift uh, in Stash. I have the, the Puss Head, uh, number six, 1000% bear brick. Um, they have, I have the Utagawa bear brick right there. And then I have a bear brick from Toy Story, um, which is uh, the bunny character. So I've got a bunch of 1000% bear bricks um, available. Um, please, by all means, do not hesitate to go in there and send me an offer. Um, and, uh, I would, um, yeah, I did. I, <laughs> no, I, glass, I loaded maybe like 5% of it. Um, so I am, I am cutting deals. So when you go into my buy it now, if you're looking at something that seems kind of expensive, send me an offer. I'd be more than happy to entertain all your offers. Um, and I want to, want to make sure you guys get what you want at a sweet, uh, at a sweet price. So, you know, there it is. Um, so those are, those are the bear bricks I loaded up. Um, another brand new item, which, uh, might be new to some of you guys, um, but not new to people who are very familiar with designer toys is, uh, the Foxy Reloaded figure by Wetworks. Um, I only have a few of these. Um, these pre-orders went up years ago. I finally got them all. I undersold as I normally do on pre-orders. And so I have some of these in stock. And so uh, this is a pretty good price on uh, Foxy Reloaded. Um, uh, pop it open. It's a very popular figure. Wetworks is an extremely big name in designer toys right now. So there you go. That's uh, that's uh, one other thing we got right there. Uh, feel free to send an offer uh, on that if you uh, feel like doing it. Um, really cool figure. Um, this is the um, Eclipse Edition, which means it's all black. Um, other, let's see, other uh, really big names in designer toys would be uh, Two Petal Rose. You can find them all in the bin really easily. All you need to do is go to the Buy It Now section and type in 2P. And you will see all of them. Here's here's a Cambot from Two Petal Rose that was made by Clutter. Um, here are some uh, uh, Noodle Ronin Ramen figures. So we got um, we have a purple one right there. We got a uh, blue one, kind of blue. We got a green one, gray cell green. Then we have a Bruce Lee um, homage, which is called Game of Broth. Those are all ninety nine bucks. Um, I think Two Petal Rose's most famous character, I would argue, would be Kid Katana. So there it is right at the bottom. Um, that is the uh, Kitsune uh, edition. Uh, we have a Devil's edition. Uh, and then we have a Hazard edition. Those are really, really cool designer toys. Um, also part of that whole world is the uh, Arctic King um, Emperor Kazo and then uh, Emperor Kazo the Cursed. So we got a ton of two petal rows um, loaded up. All of this stuff, uh, almost everything in the in the bin is going to ship from my warehouse because I really can't keep all this stuff um, in stock uh, here in my home. That would be impossible. But uh, if you like that stuff, um, please go check them out. Um, yes, uh, glass. Yes, we do have. I have, actually have the Nikki Davis uh, Cyber Skull right here. And if I have enough time, I'll go pull it out and unbox it um, if you guys want to see it uh, and buy it. It is in the Buy It Now, and you can pop it open and look at the images, um, which I think I took them myself. So, yes, I have a few of the large Cyber Skulls. Um, yes, that is a one-off custom. Nikki Davis is a one-off custom. Are you, are you talking about that? Um, I have, let's see, uh, a few other really cool things that I just want to go over with you. Um, uh, one of everyone's favorites on this show, which was interesting, and I, I have more of them, was um, the soy milk uyu and asterisk cat. Where is it? Come on. Come on, baby. Boy, that is not loading up. Why is that not loading? There we go. Uyu. Beautiful figure. Everyone loved this one. I, I got to show this off. Um, at a um, uh, previous show, and you guys are super digging it. I can, I can probably, I mean, you guys can just click on the name of it and go uh, and look at it, but here, yeah, I, I do have, <laughs> I literally have my laptop right here, so that's what it looks like. That's Uyu. So that's down at the bottom of the screen. Um, let's see. Did two petal rows to that? Oh, here. Um, so brand new, 
brand freaking new, well, brand new for us. I mean, it took us a little while to get them. Is the uh, the Witch Queen figure by uh, Junko Mizuno, who is one of my favorite artists. Um, this is a, a resin figure from Kid Robot. Looks like this. It's right at the bottom of the right at the bottom of the screen there. Um, so those are super cool. Yeah, the two petal roses are, are ridiculous merch. Uh, they're super ridiculous. Um, let's see. One other thing from, uh, oh, I, I put in the bin, I actually have more now that I've completed my uh, warehouse change. Um, I, I do have uh, the JRU uh, uh, signed dunnies, which are called It's a Fad. So there's the bronze edition there, um, which, is, which is an eight inch tall dunny uh, designed by my friend uh, JRU. And these come uh, double signed. So here, let me close this so I can see what I'm showing to you guys. That is the bronze edition right there. Um, mine have uh, mine have double uh, signatures on the figure on the back of the head and also on the box. Really cool figure. It's got a it's got a, a key that goes in there. You can pop that right open and see um, a bunch of different pictures of it. You can slide through the pictures. Um, and uh, I also have the uh, more rare pewter edition. Um, in stock. So all the stuff's in stock. So again, um, a bunch of a bunch of new stuff in the bin um, in, in Buy It Now. Um, please go check it out. Uh, there's lots of really, really cool things. Am I ever going to have guests again? Yeah, you know, guests are really, really fun. It just is like, like a lot of extra um, back-end stuff. So like I have to get my guests verified by whatnot if they're not on whatnot already. Um, which usually goes fast if, if they're, you know, it's associated with one of my shows. But, um, you know, it's, it's just like, I'm so overloaded right now that like making anything even slightly more complicated for myself at the moment um, is, is really hard for me to do. I think maybe as I move through more shows in March or April, maybe I can, um, maybe I can get there. Um, I would love to have more um, artists on. And of course, you know, um, got an artist right now who's a mod i mean glass glass could always come on <laughs> right now he's like literally could come on right now uh but uh yeah i, I have I, I i i should consider that especially as i'm um as i'm selling stuff by different artists um uh like i should it would be cool to have the artists on right there um you know on on the show to speak for themselves instead of me talking about them um, let's see. Okay. So, um, with that, um, so, so that's my buy it now. Um, yeah, uh, that's my buy it now, uh, uh, offerings right now. So you guys can, uh, check those out and send me offers on them or whatever you want to do. Um, right now I'm going to get into, uh, one of something I'm kind of excited about, even though it's really little. So you guys all know, um, my little mascot danger dog, which is, um, these are, these are Safubi style figures, uh, two and a quarter inches tall. I'm showing you older ones that I, I, I already have. Um, so, uh, there's a reason why I'm doing that. I have asked, these are so popular. These little, this is called marbling. So this is, there's no paint on this. This is uh, Mahai Safubi um, pouring different colors of liquid vinyl into, into a mold. And, and it comes out random and I love it. Benny, there's only two danger dogs in buying now. Uh, yeah, you mean, um, do you mean the little ones? There's only two, yes, there's only two, yes, yes, right. right. No, I'm, I'm getting to it. Thank you, Merch. You're you're absolutely correct. Okay, they already sold. I haven't been keeping track of what sold because I've been yapping, but um, I have a point, and you'll understand when I finish my story. So there's only two. That's good. Let me just verify that, that I didn't sell more of those. Sold. It's not showing me. It's, yeah, it's a little slow right now. Why is this so slow? Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Skinny mini resin. Cool. Okay, good. Good. Thank you guys. Steph, Kitty, and Bigger, and thank you. So what you've purchased is a blind box. Okay. And um, I 
I, I could do one of two things. Um, so, so in the blind boxes right now are the danger dogs, the marble danger dogs that I've, I've had here uh, uh, for a little while. You know, I'll show you here. I'll, I'll, I'll open one of them. So, and what I'm doing for you guys on whatnot is um, I'm also including uh, a pin. So you get a danger dog pin too. Um, so, you know, little cool marbled uh, danger dog. Um, everything's, everyone is unique and random um, and beautiful. So those are what are in the blind boxes right now. Now, the reason I kind of did the show now, um, I, unfortunately the shipment is still coming. I have a brand new shipment of mini marbled danger dogs coming from Mile High Safubi. And uh, I don't have them yet, so I can't even photograph them and show them to you yet. But um, they're going to have wild colors. They're going to be really, really cool. And I'm going to stuff them into blind boxes. So I could... The minis are not in an auction right now. I, I have, I actually have, I have a whole bag of minis, so I could auction other ones. Um, here, let me pull some of those out uh, to auction. We can definitely auction some of those as the show goes on. I've got tons of them, <laughs> but like I have, I have more coming. Um, and so I will, I can auction these uh, uh, now and uh, sell the blind boxes as well the blind boxes the blind boxes are going to be updated soon so i kind of like the way i usually operate is like i kind of don't really love selling stuff especially on whatnot before i technically have it so um in my next show i will have many more um danger dog blind boxes um, I will have many more, uh, danger dog. Thank you guys. I'll have many more danger dog blind boxes in my next show. I have four right here that I've prepared. And the reason I have four and two are in buy it now is two of them are going to be, um, uh, Gibby's. Um, so I'm going to reward all you guys right now. I'm going to set up a Gibby for one of these right now. Here, do, 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 do. There we go. And I'll do another uh, give you like this uh, later on in the show. Um, uh, so danger dog blind box. Let me just set this up. Uh, I kind of wanted to just reward you guys, get some people excited. And once I have more danger dogs in hand from my new batch, I'll build more blind boxes and I'll take pictures of that and stuff like that. Maybe. So these are minis, obviously. Let's see, giveaway, giveaway time limit right here. There we go. Um, followers only. Yes, I'll ship internationally. Uh, there we go. Okay, so. Okay, now I can run this. Okay, there we go. So, so. Yes, there was only, I only put two of the minis in uh, Buy It Now, and uh, two of them I'm gonna give away uh, during this show. So again, the giveaway is for a blind box, Danger Dog, plus a pin, there's a pin inside of it too. Um, so while we're doing that, you guys should enter that, those Gibbies. Um, I'm gonna uh, put some more things up for auction um, and uh, tell you guys some stories. Uh, I don't even know what that is. That's a little bit weird, but um, there's 31 of you here. So some of you guys might have heard of Resin Rookie. Let me get my little uh, glow-in-the-dark uh, flashlight here. Oh, my Lord. Benny, what is happening? There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Okay. So, these are pieces by my buddy Resin Rookie. So let me turn that off. Let me turn this on. Ooh. So the blue one, uh, the blue one glows. It does glow right there? Resin Rookie. There you go. Um, I had a I had an exclusive run of these from Resin Rookie um, quite a long period ago, 
And uh, this is probably the set that I used to uh, promote them. So this is going to be an auction for uh, resin rookie figures. This is going to be the first one, a small auction. There we go. All right. So some of you know resin rookie. These are this is set. These are my exclusives. Um, let me set this to a minute. These are my exclusive resin figures by Resin Rookie. Um, this auction is for a set. This one, the blue one, uh, definitely goes in the dark. This. So there we go. It is glowing. And a little UV light. I forget what these went for. I actually think the I actually think the white one glows as well, but I think it, it glows like differently. It's maybe a more traditional in the dark. But anyway, resin rookie um, is is super great at casting resin. These are very smooth and very fun little figures. I think these figures at some point were the inners of like double casted uh, resin figures. I forget if someone could remind me. I forget what the full figure is called. But uh, cool, Mike, nice job. So this is my own personal set of these. This is one of my exclusives at some point. This is actually probably several years ago. What's up, Nemesis? Mike, nice job. Nice job. Very fun. Fun pull for you, Mike. I'm going to start marking this all down. Resin Rookie. OK, so who of you? has heard of Hip Hop Trooper. Do you know who Hip Hop Trooper is? He is Strider. He has armor like this, and he goes to a lot of charity events, does a lot of walks, goes to a lot of conventions uh, dressed like this. He's a red Hip Hop Trooper uh, with uh, a giant boom box. So a long time ago, um, I uh, made his first uh, a sort of bootleg style action figure and released it at a convention um, in conjunction with um, uh, Kid Ink uh, casting the resin and Manly Art doing uh, graphics. And uh, we also uh, had paint by Small Angry Monster. So these are all hand painted. So this is my own personal sample does come out of the um, does come out of a, the packaging um, by the way but this is my own my own hip-hop trooper figure and I want it to go to someone else who um, might be really enthused by this um, hip-hop trooper has had many other um, action figures uh, and uh, you know sort of collectibles made of himself since then but we were the first we made 100 of these and we sold them at New York Comic Con. So this is a cast of an actual retro Stormtrooper action figure. It's cast in resin. And uh, made this little boombox, put a chain on them. Oh, Aperture, congrats. You won the, uh, you won the, the Gibby of the, um, of the Danger Dog uh, test shot head. Good going. Glass, thank you for bidding. This is a piece of history. If you guys go on uh, go on uh, the internet, you'll find Hip Hop Trooper. Um, he is a super cool guy. And uh, I was super stoked to do this project with him. So, you know, if you find our New York Comic Con uh, images, you will see me in Hip Hop Trooper. He stops by my booth. Um, every, every year he comes to New York Comic Con, he stops by my booth. Glass, thank you. William, there you go. So there, there are no more of these in the wild. This is the last one. No, no, Aperture, you won the, uh, you won the, uh, oh yeah, uh, no. You won the Gibby of the, uh, the, sorry, the, 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 the wine box mini danger dog. That was what, that was what they gave you. Wine box mini danger dog. Uh, okay, I should write that down. Aperture, fun, but in danger. 
Um, thank you so much. William, you have won the Hip Hop Trooper action figure, in action figure, resin figure. Um, awesome. I love it. I'm going to keep it rolling. Let's see. Did you guys want me to auction some mini danger dogs? Because there's there's a lot of cool ones here. Um, I do I do have a bunch of them. I could always run some auctions for for those. This one glows. It has a glow head. Let me know if you want me to run this as an auction. Okay, there you go. All right. So this one. So these are all unique. Um, so uh, auction three is for the. Uh, the danger dog with the 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 brown it's sort of yeah it's a brown danger dog with glow in the dark vinyl at the top it's got a big streak down the back it's really interesting you, you can almost not see it but then once you get the uh the light on it it's really cool it's even down there it's really cool so these are all different I did ask um, in my next bash, I did ask the manufacturer to use a lot of glow in the darks because I, I, I super love these effects and uh, and we'll, we'll see what we come out with. Um, I should have those by my next show next week. There you go. Nice. Glowy hole. <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> Glowy with the hole. <laughs> There we go. Welcome to Tenacious Toys. Yo, what's up, everybody? Really cool. 14, thank you. Glowy hole, nice. Nice bids there. A really cool figure. Glowy hole. Nice job. Solid purchase. Appreciate you. Glowy. So this is a, a brown danger with a green head. Cool. Um, I have a lot of other things to sell here, so let me let me move on. Um, one of the things we sell is um, uh, these play forever cars. Um, so this is this is a scratch and dent. And this is a damaged box item. So my warehouse pulled this out and uh, couldn't really. It's kind of a shame because the boxing is so good that even having a damaged box um, doesn't affect the cool car inside. Um, so this is the. Um, figure there go. It, it comes in it comes in this sandwich like an ice cream sandwich in a uh some foam so the car is beautiful and, and perfect um so i'm going to auction that right now and it's a little bit heavier so let me move to my um medium auctions yeah they are amazing thanks class um actually it's a little heavier than that i gotta do i gotta do a large auction right now um so i will show this to you guys right now these are one of my favorite things to collect i'm a big car guy this looks like a sort of almost looks like a mopar muscle car it's in a really cool gold color it's got black wheels it's got real rubber tires which is super fat they this one rolls really really well across the floor or carpet or whatever this is kid safe play forever is the name of the company and you can see there, there are screws that hold it together but they are so far down there no one can get their fingers in there so you can't take it apart it's a beautiful vehicle it is kid safe so if you have kids you can buy this give it right to your kid when it shows up they don't care about the box they just want it out of the box look at that look at that gold it's just awesome really awesome um, these retail for $40, so someone's getting a really solid deal there. Um, and when you buy this and win it, I do want to... Mo Waxman, there you go. I do want to hear from you about 
how everyone likes it because it's a rad it is a rad rad gift for anyone uh kids love these we love rolling them around down no less that is a gold this uh this car is called lead belly by the way no less. thank you so much awesome i'll get that packed away for you really cool figure good pick up i'm glad it went to someone who can appreciate it now you guys know a little bit more about play forever there's a bit of a scratching dent situation it's amazing though like like you know i received this and it looks like this right but the the car is fine so that's a testament to the packaging everything's pretty bulletproof there um let's see what else do i have one of my best friends from the new york area is argonaut resins um and he is uh i would consider him the og resin toy maker he was making beautiful resin figures way before anyone i know um so he is he's a publisher and an artist and he casts his own resin and he's just he's just an all-around amazing uh, guy this is a cat this cat is called tux it's like a, an egyptian style cat and this one has uh butterfly wings on it so i think it's a special edition uh this is my my color he made for me so you know it's like an icy glacial blue really beautiful uh resin figure uh, his name is Eric Nacella Diaz. This is number 22. Okay, so this is an edition of 25. This is number 22 of 25. It does really amazing resin work. So if you're into resin sculptures, it's not 3D printed. Resin casted. Beautiful figure. I would say it's about three inches tall. Really nice figure. SKN. Nice job. Nice purchase. Thank you. Let me just write that down. Um, Argo Resins Cat. It's called Tots. And it's S K N. Beautiful figure. Love it. Thank you for picking that one up. I I actually does anyone does anyone know what character this is? Because I, I, I don't even remember. Um, so this is a little yellow resin figure. Um, someone gifted this to me. Um, gosh, I feel like it's I feel like it's uh, Jacob Jams. Maybe this might have been a Jacob Jams piece. It's not signed, um, but very cute. Little translucent yellow guy, also in resin. Yeah, it looks like it's like Dobby the house elf. Really beautiful, see through. Really cool. I would say it's about two and a half to three inches tall. Yeah, maybe Gizmo's dad, Gizmo's grandpa. Really cool figure. On the detail. He's almost cute. Yeah, he's, he's got a little flabby little butt. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I guess this is an AP. That's my AP. Awesome. Mike, nice job. Thank you very much. That was uh, medium number one. So it's Mike. So it's, just see the notes on this. Yellow. And just a reminder, I've got all that stuff in the buy it now. I've got all that stuff in the bin. If anyone uh, purchases $100 worth of items uh, during this show, you get a free t-shirt. I have a ton of really cool t-shirt designs. Uh, available, and uh, I would send you one of them. All right, so 
here. I've got some other stuff. Let's see. Um, put this guy down here. We got. I got another. I got another glowy. Oh, this one. You know, the bottom of this one isn't so great. So we're not gonna. We're not gonna sell that one. This is one. I'm gonna have more of these dogs on the way. Um. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Maybe we can sell one of these. So this is. This one is. Um, this one is uh, one of my cotton candy dogs. So I did a I did a run of uh, of danger dogs in uh, cotton candy colors. Um, that's what this is. I had at some point I brought a bunch of them home, um, and they've just been in a box uh, since then. <laughs> so you know that's on me. Um, but they're all different. So I, I did I did a run of the danger dogs in pink and blue and purple. And uh, this is one of the last ones. There's one, there's one up there, but I actually think this one has cooler colors. So that's why I'm gonna auction this one right now. And uh, at some point between now and our next show, I should be receiving my new batch of brand new colors of Danger Dogs. And I, I think what I'll do is I'll end up showing them to you guys, um, but also like blind boxing them. Um, so I'm not gonna do auctions for every single one. Uh, but I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these blind boxes, make some available here and whatnot, and then the rest of them uh, I'll, I'll build and, and send down to my warehouse. <laughs> Rico Suave, thank you very much. Rico Suave. So it's a uh, uh, candy. That's a very cool, very cool pickup, Rico. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, okay, now that I've done that, so what else do I have? How many games do I have? Yeah, I'll save those for later. Oh no, I do have one of those. Wait. I've got three of my black and yellow ones left. All right, so here we go. Here's a plushie. It's a plushie by uh, Juan Muniz, Nino Bunny. Push it back a little bit. This came from, I don't know if this came from Comic-Con. Uh, this Comic-Con or last Comic-Con or I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyway. Plushies. Juan has a company called Nino Bunny World. Nino Bunny. Nino Bunny. It's a very, extremely soft plushie by Juan Muniz. Um, and it's about, let's see about, uh, no, it's about 10 inches tall at the top of the ears. Super cute. Juan is an author. Uh, so you should check him out. Let's see. I'm just going to type his name in here. You should look at him. He um, does a lot of artwork at festivals. He's got toys and apparel in Hot Topic. Um, he makes his own products. Um, he's got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, he has a children's book. Uh, act he actually has authored and illustrated a bunch of uh, children's books, um, one of which deals with kids' emotions. Um, and uh, one of which deals with um, uh, 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 autistic children and why they should feel special. Um, and he is really good at connecting with kids and sort of communicating with them. So uh, really good friend of mine, solid dude. And Rico, thank you. Um, and uh, I love everything he does. Uh, so he's a friend. He actually exhibits at New York Comic Con with us. Um, so. It's really fun at Comic-Con. He sort of uh, has these little reading sessions um, where he uh, gathers a bunch of kids. Like if kids come by the booth, he's like, hey, you know, we're going to be reading at three o'clock. And then a bunch of kids will come back and they'll read them one of his stories. Um, so that's uh, super, super fun to see and very rewarding for him. Um, and, you know, he can he even sells his books at, uh, at New York Comic Con. And people love him. They eat him up. So he is awesome. Um, so 
I'm gonna do a few more things because I got about eight more minutes. And this is this is all really interesting. So you guys just gonna blow your mind um, if you if you're into design of toys. So a long, long time ago, um, me and uh, Dead Hand Toys, uh, his name is Brian. We had an idea to um, have an all resin blind box series, and um, and so we set about um, lining up artists and uh, finding cool artists that, that make their own resin. I made a whole blind box series um, of resin figures, and uh, that went over like gangbusters. We, we called it Resin is King, and this back, Resin is King, and we did many, many series of it. I don't know if it was five, maybe, five series of Resin is King or something like that. And then I sort of slept on it for a little while. Actually, this is a really funny insider story. Um, so, you know, here I am airing my dirty laundry, but whatever, I'm telling stories. So I slept on that for a little while, but because um, everything got really, really busy for me. And um, I sort of didn't put out a new Resin is King series for quite a long period of time. Um, in that time, um, one of my competitors popped up and started also selling designer toys. And, uh, and I, my, my campaign of the name Resin is King was very well documented. In fact, one of the series releases of one of my blind box series, um, was at the Kid Robot store, uh, in New York City. So it's not like it was something that people wouldn't know about because if you just search the phrase resin is king, you come up with all this, all this content, all these figures, all my releases, all my events and blog posts and press releases. Anyway, my competitor thought he would start doing resin is king. Um, and so, <laughs> uh, we heard about it and we're like, you are definitely not ever putting out a resin is king series because that's what we were doing anyway one of the so so i just showed you um tuts from argonaut resins um uh tuts i think i don't know if tuts was in one of the uh one of the series or not uh, another one of the argonaut resin figures the mouse named susio was in one of our resin is king series but argonaut resins turned me on to this guy leroy um, and uh, Leroy goes by Kilroy's Attic. So here we go. Let's see. Kilroy's Attic. Okay, so the reason I'm showing this to you is because this is resin. This is before 3D printing. This is a resin ring that is like a hungry, hungry hippo. So it's got a wheel on it. It's got moving parts in it. And um, what Kilroy ended up doing was he, so, so I included uh, uh, some of Kilroy's pieces in one of my Resonance King series, but what he actually sent me, he sent me more than what I needed for the series. So I've had Kilroy Resonance King figures in a box for years. Um, I have three of these um, Hungry Hungry Hippos uh, rings. So, yeah, here we go. Like, you know, you wear it like this. You can actually, okay, let me, you, you could wear it like this and sort of fidget with it, you know. So I have, I have three of them here and uh, I would love to auction them and uh, release them to you guys. They're, they're really, really cool. So, yeah, they are adorbs. Um, they're really kind of a marvel. It, you can you can almost see what's happening in here. This is all resin. It's it's pretty simple. There's like resin pieces in here. I think you made them all fit together. You you can see it moving around in there. I guess it goes across in here to a wheel, and that's basically it. There's, I think there's two moving parts. Um, so you know, I am going to uh, I'm going to auction some of these. I, I have other ones too uh, from Kilroy, but these are. These are pretty notable. Um, here's the blue one. I'll, I'll, I'll do the blue one first. Um, so this is the auction for a, a blue resin is king, hungry, hungry hippo resin ring. All of them were different. So, so this would be the only blue one I got. It's 
pretty cool. So, so it's got his name on it, obviously. Kilroy's Attic. It's actually, his name is actually Leroy, but it's, it's amazing. It's like, it's like sort of next level resin, you know, resin casting, resin figure uh, design. Um, hey, thank you so much. Really cool. I like the clear ones a lot because you can sort of see what's happening. Oh, merch! You have one. You never knew what it was. Well, it's from. It's from. Well, I mean, I don't want to say it's from Resin is King. It, it's a piece by Kilroy's Attic that was included in in Resin is King. Um, it's sort of what I did with most people. I'm not sure if if Kilroy did it. M, thank you so much. Um, let me mark that down for you. What I did for most people was I was like, you know, when you when you make me Resin is King. Um, uh, when you make me a Resonance King figure, like, you know, send me the 10 I need. Um, and uh, you can then, after that, you can release more of them in that sculpt, you know, whenever you want. Um, so that's what most people did. Kirwali sort of came to me as a, um, a suggestion from Argonaut Resin, so I'm not sure um, he got the memo on that. But then again, his stuff is so freaking cool that, like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so here, here's another one by Kilroy. This is a dragon ring, okay? It's a dragon ring. It's gray. It's made of resin. It's very light. So it's easy to wear. Really cool. Dragon gripped onto your, onto your finger. Beautiful piece. Really cool piece. Yeah, so I'm not sure my camera can even focus on it, but I gotta get I gotta get something back here so it wants to focus on the beautiful figure. Yep, little nineties goth vibe, totally. Totally. Really cool. My son's really into how to train your dragon. You keep watching that. Dante, nice job. Thank you. Very cool. And I'll do one more. Uh, I'll move on to my, my favorite one, um, which I think made it into the series in a different color. Um, thank you, Dante. So this is kind of epic. So this is also a, a Kilroy piece. This is also a ring. And it's a pirate ship. You can see it even has the skull and crossbones up there in the flag. So, you know, I, I have bigger fingers, but <laughs> you know, it's uh it's pretty epic. It's just it's 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 so cool. It's like a like a novelty, you know. Like if you're into collecting resin, look look at this. Look at that. I think it's like one piece. It's just ridiculous. It's a pirate ship. Look, this is see. It's a kraken. You see, a kraken grabbing the ship. I mean, it's just awesome. This is. Um, Got like tentacles coming up the side and cracking a ship and it's just like what is happening here, man? It's insane. Really cool. It's just a marvel of marvel of resin casting. I don't even know how how he did. Yeah, I don't even know. Maybe on like a, um, oh, glass. Nice job, glass. Maybe you would get one of those things where you could like, like, you know, a ring display, you know, cause there's a lot of things like if you, if you, if you give a girl a ring, it comes with a box with like a, a ring thing in it. That would actually be really cool to have a blue one, you know, really cool class. Nice, nice pickup, man. Nice pickup. If anyone else wants me to run the rest of the hippos, I have two other hippos. If you want me to run them. Um, I can do that. Just uh, let me know in the chat. 
uh, before I sign off for the day. Pirate ship goes to glass. Any more dragons or boats? I have, I have two dragons. So I have, I have one other dragon. So if you want me to do another dragon, here we go. Here's, you know, I have two of these dragons. Here's dragon number two, and that would be it. That would be all I have. Yeah, I can auction more mini danger dogs, sure. I'll even let you choose which one you want. So this is, uh, this is auction number nine. This is my last Kilroy dragon. Really awesome. Very cute. Yeah, it's 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 like uber goth, but beautiful. What's up, Jesus? Run the pink hippo. Run the pink hippo. The word is okay. Actually, I have two pink hippos. Do you want the solid pink hippo or the translucent pink hippo that you can see through? Glowy, thank you. Glowy, nice job. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Translucent, you got it. Okay. Next, next on the block is going to be the translucent pink hungry hippo. So let me put it, let me put it on my index finger so I can. This is the pink one. Really fun. Super, super fun. Um, super fun fidget item, and it's all very soft. It's, I mean, not soft, but it's like smooth. So. Really dig it. Oh, Reggie! Oh, my lord, sir! There he is, Reggie. Your 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 homeboy uh, tried to. This is from the Resin is King series um, from years ago, and the, your homeboy tried to make a Resin is King series, and we were like, "No, you can't do that." <laughs> That's the backstory. I told everyone that if you just got here, but I didn't really. Um, I didn't really, you know. We're not naming names here. I'm just saying, Resonance King is uh, is 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 my thing that I did with Dead Hand Toys. Um, our thing. What's up, Reggie? Um, you um, Steph, the um. You know, uh, uh, they're really random blind boxes. That being said, uh, if you wanted to choose a different one that I have out, you could do that. Um, I only have a few uh, out. So I've sold those two, and then I have some in the blind boxes. Um, and then some of them I'm not even going to put in because um, one of them doesn't sit straight. What is it, this one? Is that one? These two. These two don't sit straight. Not sure why that is. Here's uh, if you guys want to see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, glass. I have, I have one more hippo. I have a so a solid pink hippo. If you're interested, this one. Do you want me to? You want me to run that? That's the last one. Okay. All right. Um, so what do we just do? Do we just do uh, number ten, the translucent pink hippo, and that went to uh, SKN. Okay, let me just write this down. Uh, that was SKM. I love these little things. There's so much to running these shows, right? Um, when we do um, a little thing, um, peach, this one, this one? Yeah, you want this one? I mean, this one, um, yeah, needs a little help on the bottom. So it's okay. They're soft, so, like, you know, if, if a danger dog ever doesn't sit right, you can always just smush the bottom a little and smush it into place. They're all very soft. So let's, let's see if we can get it to sit right. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. Pink head, 
You want that one? This the one you want, Steph Kitty? Okay, let me just make that happen before I get confused. <laughs> It's a blind box. Can I write on your box? Is that cool or is that whack to you, Steph? Um, Reggie, some of them, some of them glow. You'll take another, a different one. The one I had, uh, I mean, this is one of the ones in a, in a box. This is actually one of my favorites. So all these different blues and white and stuff like that. Okay, you want that one? Steph, can I write on your box? Like on the bottom, just your name? Okay, cool. That just helps me keep it straight. There we go, okay. I got it, see? There you go. Much easier for me. Especially with, with blind boxes, you know, it's like, <laughs> they all look the same. Um, all right, glass. Here we go. Oh, there's, there's uh, 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 Bunny with, uh, is looking for a home. So um, I'm going to get to those in a second, okay? Here you go, glass. Last Kilroy Hungry Hippo, which would be solid pink. So again, these are resin rings. Let's see if I can put it on and then they're super fun to fidget with. Yeah, that's all right, Steph. Yeah, you bought a, you bought a blind box. Um, but that's okay, whatever. It is what it is. Reggie, well, you wanna glow, a oh, glow what, a glow, uh, Hippo or a glow? Uh, a glow danger dog. I've got tons of glow danger dog. Oh yeah, I've had a bunch of them. I'm gonna have more than Reggie. Um, I have a whole. Um, I have a whole shipment incoming of. Um, I think 96 of them, and I did ask Ma Hai to incorporate some glow in there. This is the last. This is the last hippo, by the way, guys. So if you're if you're into this class, good job. Nicely done. You fished your wish. Um, so that's number 11. So this is the uh, Kilroy um, Pepto uh, uh, Hippo. It's glass. All right, so yeah, um, the, um, oh, okay, here, I got one other thing. Before we move on to, um, before we move on to the uh, Bunny with, so I have, <clears throat> When I got my brand new uh, Tenacious Toys uh, caps done at uh, for New York Comic Con, um, I <laughs> um, Five Borough who provided the caps uh, made a one-off for me, um, and just just to test it out, just to see just to see what's up. So so there you go. This is my one-off tie dye. There might never be more made like this. Snapback baseball cap, brand new Danger Dog logo with the tie-dye brim. There's no other caps like this. So this is gonna be a one-off. I can even write one of one on it if you guys want me to, whoever, whoever wins it. If you're into tie-dye, weird stuff, and Danger Dog and Tenacious Toys, this is for you. <clears throat> so, pretty cool cap. It's just a sticker on it. Let's see, I had my 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 price tag on there from your Comic Con. Just want to go to good home to someone who really who's going to think it's cool and wants to wear it. Monica, thank you. One off, one of one, embroidered danger dog. Tenacious Toys cap. Wondertron! I'm selling a one-of-a-kind cap <laughs> from New York Comic Con. That's, uh, that's what's happening here. One of one.
Mike, thank you. Nice job. Nice job. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate you. I will bust out these uh, these bunny whiffs next. And uh, after I do that, I have some other stuff. Uh, I got some other stuff in here too. Got some other cool stuff. I got some more resin stuff in here for you guys. I'm gonna wrap this show up really soon, but I think I have a little bit of time for some more stuff here. Um, this is number three tie dye hat. It's Mike. Okay. <clears throat> nice job. Very cool. Um, someone just asked about funny lists. So again, uh, let me just say this one more time again for those of you who are late. Um, I have a buyer appreciation givey, which is my very first test shot from Mile High of uh, Danger Dog, the head. Be happy to sign it for you guys. So all you got to do is buy something during this show and you qualify for this um, test shot from uh, Danger Dog, which was the test shots are the, the first time um, a manufacturer uses a metal mold. They will run a vinyl in a random color through it, and um, that is called a test shot. Um, so uh, they usually send that to the client, who would be me, and um, they uh, the, to get a final approval on this. So I have um, I have a bunch of different colors of um, Alex Party's uh, uh, bunny whip. So yeah, I'll, I'll show these to you guys. Um, this is a. These came blind in, in this box, this box that all you guys saw. And they come in four, uh, five different colors. So they come in flesh, they come in red, they come in purple, they come in white, and they come in aqua. So these are all, these are all sets of five minifigures. They're usually not sold like this. They're usually grab, they usually grab boxes in here um but i really wanted to sell full sets of each color so that's what i have here um so if you guys have any interest in these i can run these one dollar starts yeah we can run them what color you want rico aqua flesh red purple nico there's no there's no gold um there are gold one-offs um and i can run those too but, uh, okay, so here we go. Translucent, oh, this is, yeah, we, we sold this one. This is, this is Tuts by um, Argonaut Resins. So that's, that's been sold. <clears throat> so this, this is a, here, let's see, how heavy is this? I don't need to do a medium auction. I can just change this to a small auction to save you guys on shipping. This is the purple set. This auction is for the purple set. This is bunny with, this is bunny with just a head. So this, this auction is for the full set of five um, figures. Bunny with giant eyeball. <laughs> bunny with hammerhead shark. So this, this is an Alex Pardy uh, character. Really funny character. <laughs> Siamese twins. Mini figures and um, let's see. This is the this is so this would be this would be the standard bunny with. This is this basically the the standard bunny with character. These were actually um um this is a comic book at some point. My mother in law loved this comic book. She thought it was hilarious. This is the purple set set of five five different figures in purple. SKN, nice job. You got the purple, purple bunny lips. Nice job. Nice job. I'm going to mark this all down. What do you guys, what color do you guys want me to run next? Minty green? Yeah, minty, sure, minty green. We can call it minty green. Minty green is next. There we go. I'm gonna run it. Minty green. Let 
minty green Siamese Siamese twin bunny west here. Okay, this is so this is this all a riff on on the bunny with character. This is bunny with. This is basically what bunny with looks like. It's a it's a bunny with no arms. So <laughs> based upon nearly nothing, you what is it? Let me see if I can remember this. Based upon nearly nothing, you will indulge in these hairs. That's what it stands for. <laughs> these are Alex Pardee. This hammerhead bunny with. This is just really silly. This is Bunny with a giant eyeball. Giant eyeball, Bunny with. And Bunny with just a head. Bunny with no body. <laughs> Pretty grotesque. <laughs> Monica, nice job. Thank you. You got the Bunny with set in minty green. Very cool. What do you guys want me to run next? Monica. Uh, sure, you want to see some danger dogs. Okay. You want to see here. You want to see these? These are all people call them finger puppets. You want to see red and green. That's red and green. Blue and gray. Blue and gray is pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a, um, it's got a little bit of a, um, almost like a Mike Tyson tattoo there. But again, there is no paint on this. So this is yellow paint moving around inside the mold. Puppet show. Red next. Sounds good. Red next. Glad you guys were into those um, Kilroy. Woo! Dog. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't. This one still has a flash on. This one's my favorite ever, and I left the flash on. Yes, not selling that one. All right, we're doing red. Red bunny with. Okay, so ready again, standard bunny with. It's a very nice color. Standard bunny with. Uh, we got a uh, Siamese twin bunny with. So this is for the whole set. This auction is for the whole set of five. Hammerhead, funny with. There we go. Uh, bunny with no head. Again, these are Alex Pardee. Are there ever mixed color sets? Well, the whole thing, the whole box comes to me in a mixed color, in mixed colors. I put together these one color sets because that drove me insane. And I don't sell like I don't sell like loose figures like this in uh, in my shop. So I, I wanted to make a bigger thing that was like you know five figures. So this getting these for me is the only way of getting like a one color set. Really, there's no one else who like puts them together in sets like this. Rico, nice, thank you very much. Nice job, nice. Thank you for thank you for all the support. That's red. So we sold uh, we sold red and minty green and purple. Do you guys have any desire to throw bids on flesh and white? Because if anyone wants to throw bids on those, I will auction them. Otherwise, I will move on to something else. White? Okay, Monica. Here you go. White bunny list. Can I run the blue and black danger dog? I sure can. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is the normal bunny whip in white. Hilarious. Normal bunny whip. This is bunny with a giant size eyeball. This 
Siamese twin bunny with the two little adorable little bunny tails. And hammerhead bunny with. Uh, nice sculptures, actually. And then bunny with just a head. Captivated head bunny with. Yeah, Kolana, I will run that next. Full set of weird bunnies. Monica, nice job. Thank you. Nice job. Okay, I had a request for a um, I had a request for a danger dog, which was um, my little yellow Mike Tyson guy here. So here we go. So this is um, gray and uh, pretty accurate, tenacious blue actually. Although that was that's just random. And there's this beautiful yellow. So this one has like little yellow spots everywhere. But the cool part is this. I don't even know how this happened. Like it must have just been like some yellow goes into the mold and then maybe he grabbed the mold and like turned it or something like that. This is a really, really, really cool one. I don't think this, uh, I don't think this one glows at all. Um, I do, mm, where's my, there's no glow on this one. Oh, wait a second. Okay, never mind. The blue glows, the blue lights up a little bit under black light, a little bit. That's pretty cool. Just a little, just a little bit of, of reaction. Never know what, what you're going to get there. Yeah, what's up, Riddler? What's up, Angelic? Welcome. Thank you, Kalana. Nice job. So that's a blue. I have to be very careful when I write these down. Uh, so Kalana got uh, blue, yellow, gray, Tyson, danger. Awesome. Cool. Good going, guys. Um, nice job. Uh, here, uh, I, got, I got one other thing I, I wanted to, to put up, which is um, I have one... I have one set of um, mini shishis, which is shishi is by um, shishi is by Big Shot Toy Works. So that is shishi. This little ball. So these are little food dog characters in resin. And uh, if you don't know what a food dog is, they are the dragon dog things that are on either side of temples um, all over Asia. So this is something, this is a character that is um, um, part of uh, lots of different Asian cultures. Uh, uh, you, you'll see them in Japan and China, Thailand, Malaysia. Um, oh, thanks. Thanks, Wondertron. Yeah, tell, tell everyone how awesome these are. So the, the story is, um, this is the world, right? Uh, this symbolizes the world. And uh, Shishi is a little baby food dog. Um, the story is that the on either side of the stairs leading up to these temples are a food dog, one of which will have its paw on um, a globe, like a circle. The other one will have its paw on a, a baby food dog. Um, and so it's a little bit of a yin and yang thing, a little bit of story, male, female, black, white, yin and yang um balance you know uh and so Clem at big shot Torx was like well what's the story with the baby food dog so he made shishi um and shishi is the tiny guardian the guardian of the palaces and these are little blank resin figures that uh that you can buy and decorate yourself where they can they can uh they can protect your own <laughs> temple if uh if if that's how you want to roll um, but here, I'm going to run these right now. These are little, this is a set, so you get everything, everything right here. Big Shot Toy Works, 
Shishi, the Tiny Guardian, is the name of the character. These are ex exquisitely made resin minifigures. You have one Shishi sitting, sort of climbing on the ball. And it, it, it stands up really, really well. Um, and then you have one Shishi who is uh, sitting uh, and the ball is right next to it. So um, really, really cool, super intricate. Uh, these do not glow, they're just plain white. They're just plain white. Steph, you could just spray the whole thing pink if you were like pink. These would be really cool and pink. Actually, you could probably you could probably just easily dye them. You can make a solution of some dye with some like red dye and probably just dye the whole thing pink if you just want if you just want them in pink. Yeah, these are these are great DIY. Mike, nice job. Thank you very much. So um, these are super cool. Um, I did have these in the house for a while, um, although I guess I never really show them to you guys here on whatnot. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. It has been a hell of a uh, couple of months for me and my family and all this jazz trying to sort through everything. Um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been a lot. Um, so with that, um, so, so let me just say this. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done selling things here. Um, but one thing I do want to say is Oh, can I, oh, you want, you want this one? You want this guy? That's cool. I wonder if any of this one glows. Does this one glow? No, this one doesn't have any glow. Oh, well, I mean, you want me to auction this one? Okay, there you go. There you go. One more auction for you guys. This is a beautiful, I would actually say this is like mauve. It's like a tertiary color. It's like a purpley, purpley brown and almost like an army green. Really cool. And then, oh, there's some white in there too, which is really neat. Really interesting. I love, one of the things I love the most is how the colors flow through this little sculpt, you know? They're always different. So. Oh, Rico, you want me to... Yeah, Steph, sorry, only one cat with wings. That's all I have. That one's super old. Dagos, thank you. Really cool. I love this. Like, look at that. What's going on with that? What are those three little dots? You know? Like, I don't know. What is happening there? Why did those come up? That's just so cool. Three tiny little dots. Dagos. Coming up on it. Nice job. Okay, so, so that's... Okay. Nice win right there. This is auction number 18. Um, okay, so this was... Uh, this was... Let's see, it's a mauve head and green body. Okay, and you wanted you wanted me to you wanted me to run the, the very last color, which is flesh, which is cool. I mean I can totally can totally do that. I'll go do that right now. Um, All right, flesh. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Why is everyone yelling panda? <laughs> flesh. Alex Party Bunny Whip set of five minifigures. Bunny with Bunny with a huge eyeball. Flesh is the traditional color of minifigures. They're traditionally offered in flesh color. That's why these are offered in flesh color. Hammerhead. 
any insight into my mystery boxes. Um, the, the small mystery boxes will contain several um, open blind box figures, meaning, meaning they're, they're blind, they've been unsealed, I've seen what's in there, and then they go back in the box, um, plus stickers, plus pins. So the little mini $20 blind, um, 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 blind boxes are like at least three blind box figures, stickers and pins. Rico, again, this at a good price there. Sign these, sign these twins. Hammerhead. Nice price. Regular, this is, this is standard bunny one. Rico, nice job. Awesome. Rico got the flesh set. Good job, guys. Yeah, I, uh, I brought out some bigger, bigger blind boxes here, which I was going to auction, but uh, I don't really have time for it anymore. So, um, you know, that's about it uh, for the show. So I have to start um, working on stuff outside of the show. Um, but uh, so, so before we, oh, first time on whatnot, do they combine shipping for multiple orders? Yes, you benefit from um, placing multiple orders with the same seller during the same show. Um, they will put everything together and you should uh, get a better shipping price because of that. Um, they calculate the weight of everything and where it's going. And I believe they charge shipping based on that. Um, the final thing uh, I wanna say is, <clears throat> so I, I, I have two things going on. Number one, uh, if you purchase hundred dollars worth of stuff from me during this show, I will send you a free t-shirt of your choice of size and style. I have tons of different styles um, that I can have printed and sent directly to you. So if you're close to hundred, you might wanna go in to buy it now and, um, and see if you can uh, uh, bump it up to hundred. Um, a lot, some of you might be close to that, although I, I, I don't have my calculator out right now. But um, there's a ton of stuff in our buy it now, and uh, that would definitely be um, a cool, fun thing for you if you're close to 100. Um, I'm going to give everyone um, another minute or two to go in and poke through the buy it now. Um, if you want to buy something, you can. Uh, so, so you would if you're just getting here, you can click the little this little shop icon. Um, which um, I, I believe is sort of towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but it should be over to the right, like a little shop. You can click on there and you can click on buy now. There is a ton of items. There's 40 different items in our, our buy now section. Um, Bear Bricks, Customs, Kid Robot Dunnies, uh, super plastic figures like the Legend of Malone. Um, we got 1000% Bear Bricks. Got super cool um, one-off custom cyber skulls. I've got embroidered uh, uh, Yankees caps that are embroidered with my Danger Dog logo, like real, actual, official Yankees caps. Some designer toys like this and this and this. A lot of really cool stuff. Um, so if you buy, what just happened? What just happened? PMD Electric. I don't know. Oh, Steph sent you a gift. <laughs> um, if you uh, buy something within the next couple of minutes, it'll qualify you uh, as a buyer. Uh, I'm gonna run this uh, Danger Dog head as a gibby. And while I wait for you guys to go make your purchases, if anyone wants to ask me any questions, feel free to type something. Um, I'm gonna eat some sugar. Well, if you guys wanna ask me something, uh, about toys or designer toys or running business or anything like that. I am all ears. I'm going to let people sort of make their purchases now. Yeah. Um, uh, buying anything during this show enters you into the upcoming giveaway for the test shot of danger. So it could be stickers or a pin or an auction win or something from the buy it now or like whatever you want. Anything. Hi, guys. Welcome. 
Oh my gosh, it's getting late. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, Rico, that is um, the plush you got earlier. If you got, you're talking about this one. His name is Juan Muniz. I will type it for you. He's really cool. You should look him up right now. Um, good to follow him. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he uh, exhibits with me at New York Comic Con. His, um, his main character, um, Felipe, is he, uh, Juan lost a brother when he was young, and I believe Felipe was his name, and so Juan is, carries his name forward. Um, he's made this character uh, uh, that's very close to him, and that's the character that you see in a lot of his artwork. Um, so um, he is uh, actually pretty successful. Um, he has a company called uh, either Nino Bunny. Nino Bunny. And um, you should really look him up. He's very inspirational. He's written kids' books, and... Um, He's got like t-shirts in Hot Topic and he's made uh, toys and collectibles. I mean, it's just, it's, he's, he's a, he is, he is very, very persistent and wide ranging. Um, uh, Monica, I can't really do auctions with brand new items like that because um, I pay a lot of money for them. And if they go for like less than what I paid for them, there's like kind of like no point in me selling them. So I really kind of like for brand new items like that, that are in my warehouse, I kind of need to get full, full value. How much, oh, chicken dinosaur says, um, how much would a vinyl mold to be to produce vinyl figures? Well, there's a lot of answers to that. Partly because if you produce a mold for a simple figure, it is much less money than if you produce a mold for a big, um, complicated figure. Um, but uh, let me let me just show you uh, an example. So if you like, let's pretend and this is actually a nightlight, but let's pretend this was let's pretend this was not a nightlight. It was just a, a vinyl toy, right? It's really got forget about the electronics. Stuff. It's really got two parts, two or three parts. This part is a piece. This part is a piece. Um, this part might be a piece. Um, the mold, the metal molds at a factory in China would cost you about $5,000 for this. Um, that's why, and, and, and if it's a more complicated figure, um, you might need two molds to fit all the pieces into it. And then it would be $10,000. Um, pretty much the going rate of a mold at a factory in China is $5,000. Um, and you can only fit so much into it. Um, and when you're getting quotes from the factory, um, they will tell you how many molds they need um, to, to make the thing. So that is why designer toys are so expensive because you're paying, because designer toys by definition are made in very low quantities um, for the most part. I mean, dumpster fires, they, they made more of them. So that's a really bad example. But in general, they're made in low quantities. Um, we like to say that they're limited edition toys. And so by being limited edition, you're only making a certain number of them. If you're paying a huge fixed amount for a mold, but you're making really low quantities, then a lot of your cost of making one unit will be mold cost. Sometimes most of the costs will be mold costs. And then there'll be a very small cost of like pulling the plastic. Wondertron, what's the cost per unit after you have the mold? That varies widely um, depending on what the figure is. Um, so, so something like this, which is one unit, would cost way less than something like this, which would cost way less than an action figure. Action figures have like 100 parts. The cost per unit is very, very high. Yeah, Glowy says lower edition counts, higher price to cover the model. Makes sense, yeah. Suggestions for a first DIY piece. Steph, are you are you looking to paint one or to make one? Like are you producing them or are you are you looking to pick something up to paint? Do you want a big surface, Steph, that you can sort of like go crazy with? Because one of the best things I have is my skinny caps, which have a huge surface. You can do a lot of painting. They're very low cost, and it gives you a lot of painting surface, like without 
compound curves and like a lot of the curves are just you know uh, it's, it's it's circular and i can um yeah resin skinny cap would be good that would be another good one um where did i get the dumpster fire figure i ordered them from dumps from from 100 percent soft um because I, I have a wholesale account uh the, i mean this one this one was i don't know why i have this one i think it i think it, it doesn't work Thing is, is why I have that one actually. Oh, William, kind of new to the scene. You've been a great ambassador. Any scene shows artists in the Rhode Island, Massachusetts area you recommend? Geez, you know, I'm not really sure what the um, what the shows are in um, in Boston. There's got to be a lot of stuff around Boston, Rhode Island. Um, you know, there's a com there's a Comic Con of some size in most major cities. So I'd say Boston, some of the other cities. In Massachusetts, I think Providence, Rhode Island might have um, a small Comic Con. Um, uh, you know, uh, I think there's sometimes there's events at like Mohegan Sun or something like that. Kansas City, there's definitely events. There was just a, a paint event in T Kansas City, which is more graffiti themed, but there's definitely um, there's definitely uh, uh, sort of design of toys there. However, stuff I would highly recommend if you're in Kansas City. You could take a short flight to Chicago to go to Collected Con, um, which is coming up in the summer, and that would be really, really rad. Oh, Kansas City has a Comic Con. Glass, um, um, Steph, uh, Glass is actually um, in uh, uh, Glass lives in Missouri, although I don't. He doesn't live in Kansas City. Um, Chicago does have a Comic Con, and Chicago is also going to be hosting Collected Con. Which is put on by Roto Fuji and uh, Strange Cat. Yeah, Massachusetts Independent Comic Expo. Oh, it's good, good info here, guys. Thanks, Chicken. Really great, really great info. All right, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna run this. Um, am I coming to Collecticon? Undecided. Don't know. Maybe I might have a booth there. I might not. I don't. I don't really know yet. I have to see how the next uh, couple of months pans out. All right, so here we go. Oops, oops. Buy your app for my Danger Dog Head test shot. The first time, it it's cut a little rough in here. Uh, it's just it's just cut to show to me what the sculpt looks like. But this is the Danger Dog test shot from I don't even know. I could probably figure out what year this was at some point, but um, this is the first one I got from the factory. So if you have made a purchase during this show, you need to go up and manually enter this giveaway. Um, I guess it's um, probably up in your upper right corner. Thanks, Chloe. Yeah, it's cute. We like them. This sculpt is by my friend Nemo, Mike Mendez, local uh, toy sculptor. This is his interpretation of the dog logo. You guys have a few minutes to enter. You must be a buyer to enter this, but there are things in the Buy It Now at quite reasonable prices. So you could always go to the Buy It Now, which is the little store icon in the lower right corner. You go buy something, even as small as a pin, and uh, you can qualify to enter this. So there's only a few minutes left. This is a test shot. This is, this is, um, yeah, they did change the app. Can someone tell Dante how to, how to enter this Gibby? See, definitely, top right. Let's get this. Top right box. Cool stuff. Thanks everyone for uh, joining me today. That was fun. Yeah, she, she sold, so I gotta gotta make my little box of sold stuff here. 
how I always do it. Put everything in a little box. Get it all ready. Tomorrow I start packing things up. Is um here. Oh. Let me see. Before I go too far, I just want to take notes on this. Mike, is Mike is Mike still here? Mike, are you still in, did you leave the room or are you still in the still in the chat here? Yeah, thank Steph, thank you. Those rings from where they're resin, glowy. They they are resin rings. That's why they're so impressive. Um, because it's really like handmade resin rings. Very it's just an insane, you know, level of insanity for someone to execute on their own. Yeah. Handmade by a person. All right. Mm. Will I be doing more hats? I have so many hats. I, I have here. I have there's another minute before this giveaway. I have tons of hats. I have tons of hats. I think uh, actually there's there's hats in, there should be hats in my buy it now. So I have I have the same cap. I have a cap like this, but with like a space themed visor and one with like roses um right here instead of this tie-dye. Um, I have a bunch of caps from, I have a bunch of Yankees caps that I got from the Yankees store, which I embroidered onto. Those are in the Buy It Now. Um, I have caps from uh, our, our show uh, near Comic-Con, um, the black and orange caps. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I got tons of caps. I even have tons of caps right in my house. Um, I, can, I can roll some of those out next, next show, next week. Hopefully there'll be more cool danger dogs and you guys will really be digging on those. All right, winner's coming up. Kalana, you got the test shot. You got the test shot. Boo, 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 boo. Congratulations. Golf clap. Golf clap. Very cool. Um, you should, um, like, what do you, do you want me to sign that? Ooh, look, look how smudgy that is. Oh, gross. <laughs> Do you want me to sign it? Do you want me to write what it is on it? Okay, cool. Um, Brad. All right, cool. Well, that's the show. Um, within the next week, I'm going to get more Danger Dogs. Um, I, you know, it does seem like you guys are particularly interested when there's like glowy parts. Um, so, like, I will, I'll see what I can do about that. I mean, um, uh, you know, I'll start. I, I do want to put together these blind boxes uh, to sell. Um, but you know, if, if there's like really awesome ones, like I can maybe put them up for for auction. Um, we'll see about that. And uh, you know, aside from that, like I, I'm gonna leave. Like all the stuff is just in buy it now. So hopefully, people see it, and as we onboard more people to whatnot, they can just go through the. Uh, it, it seems like they changed the way they um, that whole thing functions. Uh, the um, the buy now is like the the, the, the marketplace. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully I can get more sales through the whatnot marketplace. I, I've now uploaded a ton of really cool stuff in there. So, you know, hopefully people go roll through there and discover like some designer toys because you know a lot of the rest of whatnot is like Funkos and Bear Bricks and like you know. I don't even know. Like, I, I don't do sports cards. You know, I don't do die cast cards. You know, so I, I um, you know, hopefully people have discovered these designer toys like through through this way. You know, I'm trying to be an ambassador uh, for the whole scene, and um, you know, that's it. I, uh, I I I still believe it or not, I still haven't wrapped completely wrapped up my storage unit here in New York City from New York Comic Con. So I literally actually have more stuff here in New York City inboxes I need to get out of there. And my first step whenever I do that is I bring it here, I run a show for you guys, let you guys pick it up, um, sometimes at like really good prices. And then I 
ship it off to the warehouse. Um, so there's more of that coming. Um, but for now, thank you guys. Uh, oh, Monica, larger designer toys would be fun too. I have tons of those. That's like, I have so much of that stuff. Um, oh, Chicken Dinosaur. I'm glad you uh, downloaded the app too. Um, you know, uh, it, it's fun. Um, it's a little addictive. Sometimes I just turn on whatnot when I'm like doing dishes and stuff and like I pop up and be like, hey, buddy, like, what's up? And I'm like, hey, you know, I buy little Hot Wheels cars for me and my son. For my son, like for me, because uh, he has plenty of Hot Wheels cars. But, um, you know, ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, but next week, oh, so there's 27 of you here. Listen, I got, I because I knew that some of you guys would be here, um, I did schedule out the rest of my shows. So please do go to my, my list of shows and just hit the bookmarks for them uh, so you're notified uh, when my next shows are coming up. Um, and, uh, you know, with that, I'm going to peace out, get back in front of the computer, go run Tenacious Toys, and, uh, and you know, try to make something of myself. Um, and I will catch you all next week, hopefully more Danger Dogs next week. Peace. Start shipping your orders tomorrow. You're all awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, thank you for participating. All right. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Let's see who I can raid. I wonder if Mind's Eye is on here. Oh, there we go. We're going to go raid Mind's Eye, guys.